Good morning. This is Bill from Curious Cars and Auto House of Naples on a muggy, crappy, vicious, miserable, muggy, humid, horrible, miserable, shitty, crappy, mediocre, muggy, un friggin' believable, horrible, muggy, moist, miserable, hopeless, horrible, shitty, miserable, muggy and crappy, beyond fit for human existence, muggy, miserable, hot, awful, shitty, muggy, miserable, shitty, awful, peak, shit, dripping from every orifice. It's a fine morning. It's not, actually. It's humid as shit. Jeez Louise, I'm dripping. Shitty hot weather. Okay, so that's where we were going. We're just living in a misty fog. It sucks. Just absolutely sucked. It sucks as per usual. I've bitched about the weather for the last few days. So, you know, I don't even know what day it is and I don't care. I just like to go find a hole somewhere, curl up and possibly take my own life. Everything is as crappy as it could be. I've also had no sleep. I'm hungover. Uh, I'm fresh off more coronavirus whiskey therapy. Actually, even my coronavirus whiskey flask is out. I don't know if it was a mixture of all the drugs and the whiskey or whatnot. But see, that's the whiskey. And with the whiskey and whatever else, it just screws up the bulleted points in my head. I'm full of coronavirus whiskey this morning. Uh, excuse me, I'm belching up whiskey. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. And it just becomes intensely irritating. Don't mind me. I'm having a meltdown from the whiskey. But I took that as an excuse to start taking more whiskey. I'm going to keep the whiskey going just to be safe. It's just the whiskey and the pills. They don't help me get smarter. And what I am going to bitch about is, first of all, I've got a cat. Look at the cats going ape shit. And look at the cat. Look at this insane cat. I'm telling you, this is too terrifying around here. <sighs> Go on, shoo, shoo. Ah, thank God, it's skittish. The goats I haven't seen in a couple of weeks. Holy shit, they're out. And we've got two satanic goats on it. They're staring at me. Maybe now it'll happen. Maybe we'll get that company goat roast I've been dreaming about with mint jelly and applesauce and roast potatoes. I'll have to call Peter, get him out here to rein these things in. They look out of their minds with hunger and, and big teeth on them. Yeah, this is terrifying. I wonder if they eat birds. I don't know if the cat will attack a goat for me. Listen to them with that blood curdling noise. Rouse! Hopefully there's no chickens or roosters. Why doesn't the cat throw itself at these things like a spider monkey and send them running. There's that woodpecker. Man, I tell you what, those things freak me right the hell out. I mean, birds going insane. Uh, they can attach to your neck and start pecking at your head. There he is, I see him. There he is, there's the little bastard. And they're just waiting to see if they could get their beaks into me. I'm gonna start bringing a tennis racket here if I survive this one. Look at all the goat shit. Rouse, rouse. Rouse. All right, so they don't know German. You cannot tell me that this is not a targeted attack. I mean, this is the goat version of the Blair Witch Project, and bats are far, far worse. They're blind, which means they, I know they've got that sonar crap, but they could still fly India. I mean, how do you know the sonar works? Uh, the thing could just break at any given moment. Next thing you know, you got a bat in your face, and the birds are going completely ape shit all of a sudden. God, there are birds going insane over there. I read a news story once where one of those things leapt up and killed a guy. And he's staring right at me. There's some birds around. You could eat them. I don't know what makes rabbits so depressed. They do seem to want to get crushed underneath tires, so. Man, they're going ape shit. I'm honestly not sure why the people in this neighborhood don't use some kind of deer be gone product, like a, a Winchester or a Savage 300. There's that cat running. Hopefully he's getting the goats. Uh, oh my God, they're back. Why doesn't Peter get cows? You know, another big, giant, menacing animal to come near me and stare at me while I'm doing stuff and unsettle me. I'm going to start wearing my sidearm just in case those things come at me. It's chickens, roosters, or other insane animals that Peter decided to keep around this place come out. Look at the size of this thing. What is that, a bald eagle? There's a giant bird coming down in the back. I don't know what the hell that thing was. It looked like a pterodactyl. Uh, it's very majestic, but my God, could that rip your eyeballs out if it wanted to. Oh my God. How the hell am I supposed to do a video with three creepy goats scaring at me? Satanic looking thing. All right, look at him. Oh my God. All right, they're off. I'm going to have to find somewhere to go that's not creepy as hell. Hopefully those goats are gone. 
I have got to find a new place where there aren't goats or cows or tigers or rhinos or whatever the hell else he has running around here. That was terrifying, honestly. It's the last thing that I want to see when I come in anywhere is a bunch of fucking goats looking at me. The stare down, hunger in their eyes, and cold black eyes, like doll's eyes. Oh, you know what, this is too much. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, God. Yeah, that's ridiculous. What is not? Sons of bitches. Didn't get crap. Came home miserable. Got pulled over on the way home. I don't know if you can make your own bad luck, but if you can, then I have. There's something about getting pulled over by the cops that just casts a damper on everything. Uh, I didn't try to, like, grab their taser or anything, so I ended up not getting shot, and it worked out pretty good for all of us. Flies. I fucking hate flies. <sighs> Flies, flies, fucking hate flies. You think the birds would eat the damn flies, honestly? I mean, they torture me enough. Why don't they help me out with a little fly eating? <sighs> <sighs> Anyway, I am chipper. Uh, you're a cigarette guy. You put that window down. You're just flicking out there. When you hit your signal, that big light on the side comes on and uh, lights up all the, uh, you know, toddlers or wiener dogs or whatever's on the, you know, you may run over otherwise butch looking women in aqua shorts at the trailer parks. Ulf, the German, the guy who was attacked by a duck, a bunch of animals flying around a muddy field taking acid, which actually sounds like great fun. Smart guys with slide rulers and white shirts and buzzy haircuts. The favorite truck of high school athletes, your grandfather father, pool maintenance companies, accountants with a weekend cowboy thing, and uh, of course ISIS. Uh, the one thing those people all have in common is that they know a good truck when they see one. Every 30 plus year old woman is miserable in life if she's not driving some vehicle that makes her look like a wildlife photographer or a general contractor. People who don't use cruise control on the highway, uh, that makes me want to go homicidal. She just apparently was a real twat. I mean, you ask the DMV what time it is and they tell you no. 69 was a pretty big year. Very good year for murders. But this is obviously a guy who probably has a human foot collection. Uh, it's inarguably drawn from the 1980 Seville, the garbage truck Seville, if you will. Uh, the, the Wagoneer, which had been made since the dawn of time. I mean, basically Moses was driving one of those things around. And there's the phone. Of course, I didn't put it on mute because I'm a retard. It has seat belts, but why bother? I think that's cool as shit. I'm going to leave my seat belt off because it's the 80s. And I don't think it would have happened if there wasn't the sort of gung-ho, you know, America fuck yeah attitude going on at the time. Ten of fucking C, Oklahoma fucking Homa. Uh, the whorehouse, the golf course, Oklahoma fuck em up. Uh, you know, wherever it is, old guys go. I have the good sense to Google it first, for God's sake. We had that woman with the strange hat who always carries the bag of shit and her dog with her, so she could pop out at any time. Try not to hit this nice woman with her strange hat. His big, retarded-looking bumperette. A weed whacker. There's not even weeds over there. I think he's just doing that to piss me off. Primitive early SUV uh, that, um, you know, would pave the way for, you know, lesbians to have something to drive many years later. And I know some guys use the word driver as a way to say, you know, the car's a piece of shit. Trading in my Chevy for a Cadillac ek -ek. But God knows I've been in quite a few of these old turds. There's no reason to, you know, harshly... Oh, God, unless you're a retard like me. Smarty and I have decided to end our collaboration. Uh, he's going off to pursue his dreams, something about doing pornography in Indonesia.
Asia. You know, if you assembled all the ladies that Marty has dated over the last four years, just that I've been there, you get them all together and you put them in a room somewhere, it's going to look like the Star Wars bar scene. Hopefully I'm not filming Peter's enormous cat. It must be devastating for him today to have to drive a C-Class. The auto house is run, you know, more or less like the Gestapo. He's probably ducking his head down at the red lights. Should we do a little burnout in Peter's driveway? <laughs> Oh, you know, I'm sorry, Peter. Peter would sell anything. He would sell his child's dog if he got the right price. I hope you're not off enjoying yourself with Tinderellas and in Europe while I'm here slogging away in the miserable heat. Yeah, I'm driving like an asshole this morning, but the hell with it. And I'm living in terror of these tires. See, if you try to steer it, you're, you're fucked. It's not gonna work well. The shit that they put in this thing was shocking. It had an Atari 2600 telling it when to deactivate cylinders and it worked like crap. Hand built in England, holy shit, that's terrifying. They were expensive, they were beautiful to look at, and they would occasionally start and run. Behold the interior, BC. It's still got the infant retainment net here. Uh, a little bit loose, so your infants might get through it if they're persistent. Not much room for toddlers up on the package shelf, and it's swooped down. It's angled down, so uh, they're just going to roll off, never mind when you break. I don't think it's going to really contain your infants very well. So the little nets on the back of the seat. Doesn't look thick enough to get an infant in there unless it's really small. I could act as a little playpen for kids, actually, especially if you could get a net over the top of it. Good-sized trunk in there that you're going to be able to get a lot of crap into. This is not cheesy GM wood crap. This is just GM junk. Famous Toyota warning buzzer, which is irritating as hell. Uh, nobody apparently smoked in this car, which is sinful considering it's a Grand Prix. It just seems like you got a bigger ashtray in these cars, and this would be like an ancillary ashtray if you wanted to smoke a second cigarette while you were smoking the first one. It tells you how to service your propeller shaft. I need to serve Service my shaft a lot. Give it a tug and up it comes. Slot machine style speedometer. Ridiculous steering wheel that looks like it's from the Millennium Falcon. Who oh, is that, Brian Adams? Oh god, I don't know. A little bit of a pain in the ass, that guy. Don't fuck with the equalizer. Oh, for the love of god. What are you, a sound engineer? You know, breaker. Oh my god. You'd shut the fuck up and don't touch anything. Uh, you've got more heated seats and lumbar shit there. They give the driver an oh shit handle, which is nice. Making sure people knew where 55 was in case they happened to be in Ohio where they had the death penalty for going over 60. Uh, the sun visor's hilarious. I mean, look at this thing. You could pick your teeth with it. And they even give you a little tiny mirror to powder your nose. Your Canadians are going to be chipper enough back there. Right, your Canadians, they are going to be chipper as hell back here. So if you want to stuff your Canadians back there, I don't know if they're going to be chipper or not, but they can go back there. And uh, certainly a couple little bready kids, and if they're close enough, we can give them a smack if you need to. You're really not going to consummate any kind of a relationship in the back. Uh, you're way better off sticking to the front seats, even with the big center console. If you put a guy and a girl back there, they're probably going to breed. I mean, why not? Because who the hell cares about rear seat passengers? The hell with them. They're your back seat passengers, so uh, they can suck it. Nice place to stick a 9mm in there. No issues at all. I don't know what you could put in there. I wish I had a joint or a... What, I mean, you're not going to get a gun in there. Not really. I mean, you might fit a switchblade or something. I suppose it's a good place to jam your phone. I don't know. I can't really put a bag of drugs there. It'll fall out when you put it up. But you do have some cup holders. Your little place to put your uh, narcotics while you're, you know, rolling a J or whatever it is you do in the 80s. The 80s, I don't know what you would have put in here. Little bags of coke, maybe. Probably a large Colt Python would fit in those things for you. If you were a cop, you could fit a lot of donuts up there. A gun storage here, no good at all. Weird little place to put drugs or switchblade. There's a place to put your uh, 357 or your 9mm, or you'd even fit a little mini machine gun in there, like a Mac 10. Go in there, no problem. You could put a gun right in front of that center brake light. Nice little spot for gun storage. Uh, then you got this big center console with the cocaine clock from the 80s. You can see it's even got a few razor marks in it. Illuminated vanity mirrors to powder your nose, left and right. It might be a good place for some pens or a switchblade. Uh, you've got a center console here, which is a little small for a gun, but you're going to get it in. Very nice place to put a compact 9, even maybe a full-size 9. And, of course, a lot of your narcotics are going to go in that little uh, pouch right there. The fake wood forests are crying when they look at this car. And by European style, it means it looks like it's going to break any day. Called faux orangutan fur. Uh, you just feel like you're 
steering a destroyer. It was all very neat shit. Dalton's crappy windows are starting to uh, fog up. So, all right, and Dalton did a shit job on the windshield. Dalton's windshield is going to be shitty. Dalton, we have crappy windows today. I have a feeling Dalton's windshield job is shit again. Like a small disabled child did it. He's a little smug, terrible human being. I'm way too old to fight. I'm too fat to run, and he gets to 38. He get that's what he's gonna get. It's what's gonna happen uh, if he comes at me with his stupid beard and mirrored sunglasses.